<sighs> okay. Ah, oh, you got 12 Pokemon. Yeah, bro. 12 side. I found an Alpha Steelix. Really, I was just looking for salt. Not the salt I brought earlier. Thanks. Yeah, it can be a 7 star. Yay. Yay. Alright, first things first. Salt. Uh, shithead downstairs. I remember this time, Tal. Where you fucking live. In the fucking dumpster. That's where you fucking live. Sup, dick? Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles. Ah, Troy sent you to go shit again, huh? Yeah, he's a bitch. You're looking a little protects. So wonder why this old man is so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things. Well, maybe I'll tell you this if you bring me three hunks of salt. Here you go, dick. Ah. Now then. Yeah, sure, bro. I don't need them. If you see them wild, don't pass it over. You gotta break up the hammer and get chunks into mortar and crunch them and grind them into powder. Mix the powder into some ingredients and pack and mix together and it's a crunchy cake. Well, I can't send you back empty-handed. Forgot, what did you want to happen between me? Well, made off with my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. Oh. Bro, why you be stealing to the, from the old man? You're a monster. Ma'am. I progressed it. Rank me up, bro. Hmm. Woo. Three stars to go. Are oh, you officially seven star? Gigaton balls. All Pokemon will obey you. Well, then really the last two levels are just... I guess the last two ranks are just more money, maybe? Evolutions. I have no intentions of doing those. Yeah. Ugh. You're a fucking ripoff, dude. I fucking hate you so much. And you can't just be like a list of things to buy, right? He doesn't just have a list where you can just go down the drop down and just click every time. And I think that's fucking dumb. I'm gonna keep doing this till I run out of money, bro. You have no idea how much Stardust I have to sell after this, so you're not, like, fucking me up somehow. Alright, I can get one more, probably. Next one's probably gonna be 10k. Yeah, bro. You're a fucking ripoff. I just, just want you to know that. Okay, bye, dick. Alright. What's up, dick? Yeah, we got the goods. That's the one way to put it, but simply not so simple. Please believe me, there's nothing you ought to worry about. Given fine country you are, I imagine, at some point. In any case, would you like to see my new things? Yes, I would like to see the new things. Uh, still not selling Ultra Balls, you're just selling the Leaden Balls now. That's cool. Uh, you wanna buy some garbage? Where's my Ziggy Stardust? Should have like a bajillion stardust. Where'd it go? There it is. There we go. Back to where it was. Thanks, bro. Mm. I don't know nothing about no magic harps, princess. I'm sorry. Uh, what did you want, Mysterious? Okay. I think that's next. Hi there. I don't. Oh. Okay. Weird. I don't remember what you wanted. I don't remember anything. I don't know why I showed up. Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Ah. My favorite problem. Alright, let's park myself right in front of the dude so the next next time I log in, I'll just know to talk to dude. I like that every time you come to the star screen, um, the further you progress in the story, that's where you get on the sheet. I think that's lovely. All things considered. Captain, my captain! Oh. 
Hmm. So the Warden Melly believes that the frenzied of these Pokemon are the same sort of trial set by Almighty Sanoa. We cannot know if that is the case or not. But it does beg the question, why ever would this Almighty Sanoa drive the nobles to frenzy? I don't think he- I don't think it's him. I don't think it's God. I think it's something else. It is angered by something. Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of a Pokemon. Thoughts of God. And what is this space-time riff anyways? What causes it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on. Then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare his finest m potato mochi. We've got to be tired of eating potato mochi at this point, right? Or maybe it's so tasty we're not? Questions. Load screens. Say it with me, kids. Fuck you, Benny! Dinner on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Fuck you, Benny. What? What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous from for the boss. Well, I've heard talk about your pro our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, or at least less dangerous task. But, can we talk about how you've gone from being somebody- Some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hsu? Bro. Don't put that on my shoulders. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Flame Wheel. Yay? I guess? It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. Okay, if you say so. You let your action do the speaking for you, Flame Wheel, and the message is clear as day. Doesn't matter one whit where you came from, you're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilee Life Village now. Yay! What's all I mean? I'm helping. I think I'm helping. I hope I help him. The next day. Dot, dot, dot. I'll get my stretches in. I'm ready to change back into my outfit. Isn't it nice getting up early? No, Adam, man. I don't want to be awake right now, but you. Oh, hi. Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with that day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Co Commander Kamado's invitation. Today is a time that matter. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you just to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early morning wake up. Are you coming to? I'm sure we all guess what the commander wants us for. I don't know, man. I don't know what I could possibly accomplish. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Okay, boy. I'm gonna change my clothes, and then I'll go. Okay? Okay. No, I won't. Because <laughs> I won't. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. It wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hasu, I feared that what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the next one. Yeah, who'd have dreamt some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Uh, the writer? I see with the writer? But I've never does stop surprising you. The only one lord left is Alvalug. Avalug. Which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. Oh, I guess I don't need to change. I guess it's about to get even colder. He's also the largest noble, according to what Ireda has told me. He's still be. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some cha change in the space-time rift as well. Okay. I'm on it. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Calling it now. 
Avalog, maybe Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and Galaxy Team will step up to resolve this for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us meet in the cold reaches of Alabaster Islands. Until then! Okay, boy! No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. Why are you out here judging me, Captain? <clears throat> I thought we'd been over these. I thought we were good. But no. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. Well, they can go fuck themselves. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Bitch, how can I prove more than I already have? Man? Don't be judging me. <laughs> Fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. Or I guess in this case, the ponytail you rode in on. Gah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's a Wurmple! It's a bird Wurmple! I have a teleport Wurmple outside at once. Yep. She does not like boobs. Okay, bye! Ah, oh, that's what Abra's for. Ahem. So, you're to survey Alabaster Islands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all of Hisu. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying Alabaster Icelands. Cause they all bitches! Trifling ass bitches, no less. You know your orders. See your mission through. Okay, mom. On my way. On road again. All right, mental note. Drop off all our garbage. Garbage. Don't talk to me. All right, let's go. So. We're going to make for Alabaster Island. Iceland. That's right. Let's go. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of Frenzies and the other nobles. This seems as little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out here in Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue it? Only because he's in pain. If he wasn't in pain, I wouldn't go. I don't like being cold. I'm the flame wheel, not the ice wheel. It's so cold. If Avalog's as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send flame wheel out there, we'll be putting her in danger for real. I got this, bro. Or I don't. We'll find out in an hour. But people say the frenzies make Pokemon suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to quell the Lord? There's simply so much we don't understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether these frenzies truly are causing them suffering, nor do we know why they're entering these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. Fair! What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come out of quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any Pokemon of this land. What does he hope to achieve? Um, I'm assuming he just wants me dead. Because generally when I get sent on suicide missions, it's because they're trying to kill me off. To protect everyone. Indeed, that better... The better we understand our Pokemon neighbors, the safer we'll feel and be. But if the real goal of this mission is to quell a noble for the quelling sake, rather than for the sake of scientific study, then... Professor... Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. Silly sausage? No one wants to be a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Flamewell? Then we suppose we better get to it. How do I offer my support? By giving you another shot at honing your battle skills. No, Ray, I don't want to fight. I want to go home. Yeah, but I'm still gonna glad to bow you. I owe you. You haven't tumbled down alongside, I would never have learned to battle alongside Pikachu. 
No, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose to a Pikachu. Oh, he's got three Pokemons, Neil. Proud of you. I don't know who's in front. No pretty. Look at your pretty sparkles. She's so pretty. Uh. Uh, Swift. Need a better physical attack. You know, I assumed he was gonna do that. Ah, my soul. I see. You. Maybe should have used strong style since I'm dead next turn anyways. Oh well. I might live. I was wrong. I ain't gonna live. Yeah, that should work. Sup, bro? I'm taking your soul! Shadow Ball? Ha! Ah, missed! Oh, that'd have been bad, though. Um... Alright, let's get rough. Too rough. Quit. Come on, Pikachu! Who's next? What's the story for you? Oh, no! Okay, I guess I just don't get a turn. That's cool, I guess. Alright, you're going down with me. Taking you to hell, Birdo. We need me. Ah, the battle makes fighting along Pokemon look like the most natural thing. Well, that's because it eats. I'm sorry, buttery. Good luck on your mission in the Icelands. This sounds like a perilous one dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalug. As for me, I'll set off to Alabaster Islands forthwith. See you there, my girl. Okay, boy. Thanks for hanging out. Um... I couldn't help myself. I needed to get a Miss Dervious. Do this, just to see if she, what her new hairstyles are. I'm sorry. Fashion comes first. It's gotta be a girl. Obviously. You know, people are afraid of Miss Dervious. Because it... Of how it apparently wells at night. But getting a good look at this... Really gives me a fresh perception. Look how it billows and sways and flows. Wait, that's it. That's what I'll do. I just thought up some charming hairstyles and an enhanced new palette of colors. Come on by. Okay. I wanna be pretty. Alright, let's do this. Better inspiration. Corellia, huh? I think I have one of those. Do I have a Corilla? I have to, right? Oh, they gave me more pasture space. Nice. Uh... Surely, right? Or it wouldn't let me click the button? Yeah. I got a bunch of them. There you go. There's a girl one. Love how it dances. I get it. The feeling that the hair sways around you while you're dancing is the best. Actually, yeah. This is a hair set I want to go for. Aha! I have a new idea. Thanks. Come by anytime. Sweet. Alright, let's see if she got more. Let's do a new hairs. Let's check it out. New hair, new colors. Or 
grab your seat. Alright, so what it'll be. That's new. I think. I don't like the, uh... Unacceptable. Okay, that's new. No? Oh, it's the emo. It's emo here. Twin pigtails. Fancy. I don't like that. Uh, that's the maidens. Bradads. Super Saiyan! <laughs> Yo. Alright, let's look at these new colors. Bright yellow. Periwinkle. I kinda like that color. Clementine. Violet. Why is it bright purple? Turquoise. Oh yeah. I like the turquoise and the blue. I like that color blue. That's my favorite color. Alright, so that's our current color. Bright blue or turquoise. Mm. Bright blue. Nah, eyebrows are fine. Alright, let's go! It's like four hours worth of work. Now we're brighter blue. Alright. I don't want a hat. I don't ever want a hat. Get out of here. Okay, drop by again. Okay, boy. Oh no, it took my, uh... Never mind. I want my hat. Oh, we're gonna need to change our indigo to match our hair, right? Okay, boy. Alright, now we're styling and profiling. Okay, let's get this plot hug moving. The only downside is I don't know if I have, uh... Saves auto or off. <laughs> I don't remember what I did last time. <laughs> God damn it. <gasps> Look at our new hair. Where's El Brady? Snow no. I see you, Will O Wisp. Thumbnail. The sad presser. My word, it's rather chilly. Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture outside Alabaster apart from Tau House leaders in the Odd Supply Corp excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere a Pokemon is found. From what I gather, I speak Arena, where you'll find Avalog, is rather far away, I'm afraid. Dallas, the mission will tackle Avalog will be... Another dangerous one. Learn all you can from Ira and Adam to try and get there safely. Yes, sir. Flame wheel! It's so cold. Arita must be dying. How aren't you freezing? Same, dude. I'm wondering the same thing. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. That's because she's so hot. Oh... Think this is bad? Just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're heading. Oh, no! You know, I'm beginning to think people. The problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. I think it's just you and me thing. <laughs> we'll never see eye to eye anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and I and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty snow that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but... If such a being even does exist, it's certainly not Almighty Sanoa. Yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're heading to the to see my teacher, and he's the only ever found in one place. Which is You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At at Avalog's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice would I have met when I said we're heading somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go, Flame Wheel? I'm ready! Put me in, coach! Sure, stomp off without me! This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. 
See you at Avalog's Legacy, Flame Wheel. Take care. She's so pretty. Uh, we are here. We need to go here. And then we'll go here. And then we'll go up there. Yep. That's what's about to happen. Oh, uh, no. Well. Let's make sure I got the right Pokemon for the job. The fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? I haven't played in like two weeks, so like... My range is off. Also, I'm gonna need to make more, uh... I'm gonna need to make more Ultra Balls. The fuck? Must know more. Fuck are there a palms here? That's stupid. You keep shimming and shaking. I'm gonna eat you. That's bad, that's my only fire move. I must know about this cave. I don't know if it has anything to do with me, but I must know. Crevasse package. Passage. It's fucking cold in here. I am the cold wheel. I know alike. Really? Everything's out of range. Break the metal. You just want to be caught, don't you? You're so cute. I love them all. Itty bitty Vavilogs. But they're so little. I need to deal with the fact that Bunny's like 10 levels lower and I don't think I'm ever actually going to fix that. I don't think I'm ever actually going to be able to fix that. It is what it is, though. I don't know if this is the way, but that was fascinating. It's snowing, Mom! <clears throat> I'm already covered in snow! I'm so cold! So cold, so cold! Oh, she is not thrilled. Alright, let's see. She should have one more idle animation. I'm cold! Okay, that's the wet... Oh, no, no, that was slightly different. So that was the wet one, but she was shivering on top of it. That's pretty cool. Uh Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you haven't already, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel and you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye!